Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. In the previous video, we learned up to the creation of the field catalog. Now we will start with binding of data with the field catalog. Whenever you will bind your data with the field catalog, so suppose if I will go for reuse ALB list display or reuse ALB grid display, they will only only accept a combined internal table or single internal table. In this current scenario, our data is in two internal table, but our binding function modules, I'm talking about these two function modules, they will accept only single internal table. So what I have to do first, firstly, I will combine that data of these two internal table into one single internal table. Then we will use this function modules to bind our data with the field catalog. We'll start with this. Now, my final internal table will consist of five plus two, seven columns. Because our final internal table is the final output. In the output, how many columns are there? Seven columns. So I will create a internal table of seven columns. From these two internal table, I will push that data to that final internal table. I will declare a internal table of seven columns. I will write LT underscore final type table of. And if you remember in the previous video, we already created a structure of seven columns. So I'll simply, simply use that structure. If you are not comfortable in this way, you can create a structure of seven columns through types statement also. It's your wish, but we already created a structure of seven columns. So we are simply, simply using that our internal table has seven columns. I will declare a work area. LS underscore final type my structure name. Now I will write the logic to push the data from these two internal tables to our final internal table. I will put a loop on first internal table. For every loop, there is a end loop. I will put a loop on second internal table. My second internal table is VBAP. And what is common between both of them? VBELM. Again, for every loop, there is a end loop. So one by one, we will pass the records to the work area. From these two work areas, we will pass the data to our final work area. Then we will append it to final internal table. So what is our final work area? LS underscore final. First column, VBELN. It is coming from first structure. Control D to duplicate a line. Now we will change. ERDAT, ERZDT, ERNUM, PPTYPE, 
postnar and matenar similarly we'll do it for others also erdat erzdt ernum bp type postnar and matenar so one by one we are passing that data to final work area my last two columns are from second work area so one by one loop will continue i will pass the record to final work area and from this final work area we will append it to our final internal table we should always always clear the work area after every append statement i'll check the syntax and activate the program so from these two internal tables you push the data to final internal table one by one record move to work area final work area then from final work area it moved to final internal table so our internal table is ready our field catalog is ready can we bind our data with the field catalog yes we will bind and we will go for our first method to bind the data with the field catalog we will use our first function module reuse underscore list reuse underscore alv underscore list underscore display i will go to pattern button and i will pass this function module now we will use this function module to bind our data with the field catalog or we will push our data into field catalog i will uncomment exporting i will uncomment field catalog parameter i will pass my name of the field catalog i will pass the name of my data internal table it is lt underscore final i will check the syntax and activate the program now i will simply simply put the break point here and show you the output in the debugging mode so that you can understand fully i will give the input suppose i will go till 30 i will go for execute i am on desktop 3 this is my field catalog of seven columns which sap generated and this is my data in the final internal table you can see 36 records are you and you can see 36 records seven columns so we have a field catalog of seven columns we have the data of the seven columns and this function module will bind our data with this particular field catalog and i am executing and you can see this is our alv output of seven columns this is a alv output by the function module reuse alv list display in the next video we will go for more more understanding thank you